So a lot of you guys are asking me, David, how do I make my videos longer? They're about only 14 to 18 seconds long. I'm gonna show you real quick on this video. We're just gonna go through it really quick because I wanna keep this video nice and short. I didn't have an intention to make this video because I made about three videos showing you these steps already, but here we go. Okay, so you are here on TouchPix about to create an event. So far, so good. Go ahead and put in all this information like you would usually do. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. All right, all right, so the countdown, I keep it at three seconds as I've shared that in the past. I'm holding the phone, guys, and trying to watch the phone screen and the laptop at the same time. I like hearing the little beep sound uh, in the mirror overlay. I always disable that. I'm gonna use a front camera for sure. That's the best camera on the phone. Camera exposure menu, I'll go ahead and leave that on there. We are 360 booth operators, so we're gonna go to no printing here. We're not gonna be printing out anything. We got to save the trees. Now let's go ahead and uh, uncheck this, uncheck that, uncheck that, and that as well. All right, so here we are. This is the most important part. Slow-mo recording time, guys. Look, at, if you hover over this uh, question right here, it'll say the recording of the slow-mo footage. No, higher frame rates will increase the length of the final output. So three seconds recording time will result in 12 seconds video, right? So I usually have this at six seconds. When I have this at six seconds, my videos are usually anywhere from 22 to 26 seconds long, and that's perfect. You don't want them any longer than that. The reason why is because it's going to take more time to render, more time that our people are waiting for the video to finish downloading, and that right there, you don't want to be stuck in that little uh, waiting period, okay? So I leave it at six seconds, guys. So I switch this from 4.5 to six seconds. Now we move to the right here. Make sure that your um, audio, your MP3 file, is at least 30 seconds long. 30 seconds long. So if I go right here, uh, as you can see, hold on, guys, let me right there. This song that I made for uh, this client, I trimmed. Wanna get a mansion, a jacuzzi, a theater to watch my movies, couple whips and lots of fancy things. So this is 30 seconds long, okay? So I would use this track. So like I said, always keep your MP3s at least 30 seconds long. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you extend the videos, okay? This is a question that I keep getting on my uh, Instagram. And I'm thinking like, come on, guys. I already made like three videos on this. But I'm here to help you guys out. And whenever I have a little bit of free time, I'm going to do just that. Uh, and then right here, just real quick, since we're already recording a video, I uh, might as well show you guys. So this editing, make sure you always leave it at three. Sharing, leave it at three. What happens is if you have leave editing at zero, uh, when it comes to the video finishing up, as far as the rendering process goes, and you try to watch it on the iPad, the sharing station, it won't let you click it because it doesn't stick around long enough for you to actually select the video. So leave this editing at three seconds. Okay, that's important. Three seconds. Sharing three seconds. Thanks. I leave it at zero. I'm already thankful. Props zero because you don't want to spend too much time on that one screen, external screen with thanks uh, popping up. And I hope this video helps, guys. Remember, like this video. You guys are really cool about giving me a, a like on the video, and that really helps me out with the algorithm. And I really appreciate you all. I love you guys. The 360 Global Family is in the house. Represent. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.